Durant getting the big field goal, and it's a three-point game again. Here is Davinsky over Durant. What's going on YouTube? Coach Marcus Hodges here with Separation Team Basketball and today we're going to focus on the Dirk one-legged fade. It's an elite move that almost can't be stopped. You don't want to miss. You already know, man. Let's get it. So with Dirk's one-legged fade, it's going to be a lot dealing with your balance first. So I want to break down the balance of this move. So I want you to imagine you have a defender right on your right hip. And right now, you can have a basketball, you don't have to have a basketball. But I want to imagine this one dribble, I'm going into my defender. So I'm kind of stepping or initiating more contact, being more of the aggressor. So as I go here, I'm stepping and then now I want to step away and then slightly turn to jump. So if you don't have a basketball right now, the movement is simply just going to be here, one and two. And I want you guys to work on being able to jump straight up with a slight fade back, but also be on balance. So the footwork will go five different sets. I'm going in, in, back out. Make sure I'm getting that right knee and elbow up. So I'm going here, step in, out. Locating that rim. Imagine I have a ball in my hand, I'm dribbling. Step in, back out. That slight fade, I'll give you one more. Once again, pop, right up. Now I wanna add the ball into it. So I want that same dribble here, and then I'm stepping back. Now when you're shooting the ball, you can either be on a goal or just work on the movement. I want that elbow above your eyes, really exaggerating that arc just like Dirk used to be. So as I'm here, one dribble, boom, get it up. Wait for the ball to hit the ground. Going into that contact, stepping away with the fade. I'm in the low post, I wanna get that one dribble for contact, and I'm going back on my fade. Dirk does a really good job in an unorthodox way of being able to get that shot off on one leg. So I want you guys just to experiment on different ways to shoot off that one foot. At times he won't even put the ball on the floor. He'll go with a jab where his body's in this position right here. And then he's gonna shift his weight back and go right to a one-legged one fade. Very, very unorthodox move. But Dirk was able to perfect it, one, with his balance, and then two, just being a player who always works on different un unorthodox moves. Now when I'm in this stance, making sure that basketball is away from that defender, I'll just shift my weight back, throw that leg up, and fade on it. Once again, to be a complete player, don't be a guy that can just jump off that left foot. Even if I'm right-handed and I'm in this stance, I still want to have the ability to fall back on that right foot. So now pushing back, and I got to turn and rotate my body. So still being even able to have the ability to shoot off that right foot. It's not always about speed, it's filling that defender and creating that space. Notice, and once again with that dirt fade, a lot of bounce. You guys gotta have that core strength and understand, can I shoot off my left foot like Dirk really did, or off that right foot like those complete basketball players can master. Notice, there wasn't a lot of speed with my moves also. So being able to change speeds, really just filling the defender out, and then being able to create that one-legged separation. If you like today's video, let me know in the comments below, and also what you wanna see next. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. We're gonna keep uploading videos every day for you guys. You already know, man, let's get it.